Hello everyone, this is a quick video about the eDNA field sampler. So shown here is the uh, top of the Watera Spectra Field Pro battery operated peristaltic pump. You got two uh, switches on top, one is a pump direction, flow direction, and the other is the on off switch. There's also a flow rate, which is the speed of, that the pump head spins. Top of the lid here is the hose adapter, the Stervex millipore filter, and a couple end caps. Columns usually come in a sterile pack. Now we need to attach the column to the line that's going to be filtering water. So you take the uh, hose adapter insert it into the end of the tube, then screw in the uh, column itself, hand tight. Very important you get the uh, column uh, oriented in the proper direction. It's a one-way system, so if you don't uh, install it properly, you're not going to get any filter water flowing through. So we just need to secure the column now anywhere that's convenient. And we're going to hook up the line through the pump head. Clamp it down. Now we need our water source. Looks like uh, EDNA is typically at the top of the surface, so we're going to do this the easy way and just float our line up on top. You might want to add some cheesecloth or something to keep big debris out. Turn the pump on and then adjust the rheostat. We're suggesting about 12 o'clock, probably a okay setting. You're not going to get real fast flow through the filter. Uh, you're just going to build up more and more pressure if you turn that up high and you actually just blow the filter right off the end so you don't want to do that. As you start to get water flowing through that line uh, you can adjust the, the rate a little bit. If you have a lot of material in the water the flow rate is going to drop down pretty fast as you can see. We adjusted the rate up a little bit, um, uh, but that's about all you're going to get probably with uh, filter. So you let that run for a while, and eventually uh, you're not going to get any more water flowing through that. Really, going to depend on uh, water source, how much how much material you can filter. So eventually, that's going to stop filtering. You turn off the pump. Now for storage and transport, we're going to want to dry that column out, so detach the column and then uh, turn the pump back on and run that tube dry. Once you get all the water out of that line, uh, you can hook the column back up to it. You can just leave the pump running as well through this. Hook the column back up and evacuate the last bit of that water. Turn the pump off and now you just put on the end caps. You got the end caps on here, uh, then you just put that column on ice and you're done. Might want to record uh, specifics about the field site, field ID.
Last thing some folks may want to do is uh, record the amount of water that was filtered. If you're not just doing presence absence, you can also do quantity. So just note how much water you uh, put through the filter. Have a simple graduated Nalgene bottle here. Note the volume that you passed. Write that right on the column. And you're done. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, this was informative. And uh, we'll be sure to list all of the uh, material down below the video so you know the components we used. And uh, if you want any more information, please feel free to contact us.